Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America and the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network. Great to have you with us on the program today. Dr. John Mayer is a researcher, scientist, writer. His book, Family Fit, Find Your Balance, which is in its second edition, provides no-nonsense practical tips for raising healthy, happy kids and keeping everyone, kids, parents, and grandparents, connected through fitness and nutrition. Dr. John Mayer, welcome to the program. Great, Great to have you with us today. Well, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here, Rick. Well, it's our pleasure, and we're going to start off by talking about child obesity. And I know this is something that, that you personally dealt with. You deal with this in a number of people that, that you see, and I read a, an alarming statistic recently. 66% of, of teens are considered, children actually, are considered in the obese category. That's obviously two out of three if that is correct. Is that number even close to being accurate? It, it sure is, Rick, and, you know, I don't think it's any hidden secret that we just look around at our kids, that this is a national epidemic. Why is that? Well, like almost anything, it's multi-determined. We have kids that are um, in front of screens for most of their day. Uh, A new announcement by the Center of Disease Control says that even when parents have been better at getting kids away from the video screens, they find that they're not engaged in physical activity and some form of movement, which we can even maybe call exercise, that they're, you know, they're doing things that are more lethargic. That's one thing. We also live in uh, a fast food society that uh, families aren't cooking uh, as much anymore. Uh, meals are prepared outside the home. They're not healthy meals. The food they're getting is fattening and full of sugar. Um, so there's those things. Schools giving up on their uh, physical education classes and not emphasizing physical education, recess, and physical activity. This whole mindset, and it goes on and on, is contributing to a population and a generation which is just getting bigger and bigger and um, fatter and fatter. You're listening to This Week in America, our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Our guest on the program is Dr. John Mayer. His website is troubledteens-thefix.com. We'll talk about that in a second because it's a really innovative, uh, interactive website for parents, troubledteens-thefix.com. You can go to our website and link on to Dr. Mayer's website as well. His book is called Family Fit, Find Your Balance in Life, One of Many, and that's specifically what we're talking about in the program today. In the book, it's interesting, as I'm reading and you're addressing the problem of of childhood obesity, and you're talking very honestly and openly about the situation you had and what turned your life around, but you're talking about too often that when we're we're concerned about children and in in changing diet whatever, we talk about denial, we talk about sacrifice, and you say, wow, that's just, that's really got a negative connotation to it. And it's one of the prime reasons why many, if not most of these, diet programs fail, Rick, is because they stress this sacrifice mentality where you can't have this, you can't uh, right. do this, right. etc. And uh, I really show in Family Fit that uh, don't sacrifice. In fact, enjoy the types of foods and the types of tastes that you really like, but do it smartly. I love ice cream. I still enjoy ice cream but I'm not buying the overly sugared, heavily laden with fat ice cream that I did before. I'm buying sensible ice cream. You know, does it taste exactly the same as the old-fashioned ice cream that was 20% butter fat from my youth? No, I'll be honest, but it satisfies, satisfies my taste for ice cream. It sure does. Well, in the book, Family Fit, you talk a lot about parental responsibility. And one thing I've never really heard the term before, but you talk about hand-me-down eating, where the kids are basically picking up on on what we're doing and, of course, fixing the foods that we're preparing for them. Well, I think our listeners can really identify with what I'm about to say, because think of some of your favorite foods and favorite prepared dinners that you just look forward to. We might even call them comfort foods. Yes. Everybody's familiar with that that uh, term. Uh, where did you get that comfort food? Where did you get that taste from? Most probably from mom and dad or grandma and grandpa. 
And guess where they got it from? They got it from their mom and dad, their grandma and grandpa. We're going back already, just in this story, <laughs> 50, 60 years. Yes. Uh, and, and, you know, it goes on and on. They uh, got it from their mom and dad and their grandma and grandpa. So guess what? We're talking about tastes and eating habits and nutrition that's going back hundreds of years, maybe, and we're doing the same things. Yet our knowledge as professionals, as doctors, nutritionists, is very state-of-the-art. We know what you should be putting in uh, your body at this point and what you shouldn't be. Yet we're eating foods prepared the same way, which may be from the revolutionary days in, in the United States. Yes. Dr. John Mayer is our guest on the program. His website, a very innovative one, is troubledteens-thefix.com. You can go to our website this week at america.us and link on as well. Dr. John Mayer's book is called Family Fit, Find Your Balance in Life. Got about 30 seconds or so left in the program. You talk in the book Family Fit, the when a child is, is obese and has a weight problem, it not only is a physical problem, it really takes its emotional toll on that child when they're very fragile emotionally anyway, especially going through their teens. So it's really a double-edged sword they're dealing with here. For sure, and that's one of the bandwagons I have, Rick. It's this secondary cost of being overweight, not only emotional, physical. Your children are not as healthy as they can be, um, don't do as well in school. There are studies that show kids that are overweight don't do as well in school as kids that are of average or... or well, and that was your case, too, wasn't it? It sure was. It was exactly what happened. We are out of time. We are going to have Dr. Mayer back on the program. He's going to be back next week, and we're going to be talking about time next week. We all want more of it. We can't seem to quite figure it out, even though we're multitasking 24 hours a day. We can't quite accomplish everything we want to professionally or personally. Uh, Dr. Mayer will be back with us on the program to talk about that next week. Uh, His website, the new one, is troubledteens-thefix.com. You can log on to our website and get more information uh, as well and directly link on to Dr. Mayer's website. And the book is Family Fit, Find Your Balance in Life. Talks a lot about the problems, talks a lot about fixes, solutions as well. It's an excellent book. Dr. Mayer, thank you for joining us. We look forward to having you back again next week. The pleasure's all mine, Rick. You're listening to This Week in America on the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network.